Now, sales of powerful vacuum cleaners have soared over the last few weeks as buyers have turned out to beach new EU regulations that came into force yesterday. The rules limit the size of vacuum cleaners to 1,600 watts in an attempt to reduce emissions and cut costs. But is it all just a load of hot air? I'm told he never touches a vacuum at home. I'm sure that's true. But our reporter Adam Fleming is in our Westminster newsroom to give us a demonstration. This should be fascinating. Now, do you know where the on button is, Adam? Yeah, thanks very much, Joe. Actually, I've got a bone <laughs> to pick with you. You've left our office in a total state. Look at this. <gasps> There's crushed in crisps down there. There's about 12 packets of sugar just sort of wheeled across the carpet. But luckily, you snitch. we've got some vacuum cleaners here. So this, um, this is one of the illegal ones because it's more than 1,600 watts. Uh, I'm told these were selling like hotcakes in the last few weeks. In fact, one retailer called Appliances Online said sales went up by 380%. Anyway, that's enough numbers. Let's get going. It's very quiet, isn't it? Let's see. Right, lovely sort of gliding across the carpet there. Well, it's made very short work of the sugar. Look at that. Is it going to manage the crisps though? These are much harder, aren't they? Ooh, look at that. Bang, the crisps are gone. Amazing. Right, so that's that one. So you cannot buy these ones anymore. But you can buy these ones instead, which are about half the wattage. But are they got the same suction? Let's find out. Right, much less smooth on the carpet and a bit quieter actually. Oh, sugar's gone. Is it gonna manage the crisps though? It's half the wattage. Oh, oh. yeah. There you go. The crisps are gone. So to my um, untrained eye, the suction is exactly the same, even though the wattage is completely different. But then I'm not an expert, but we had heard from an expert today, the guy who runs the International Hoover Museum or the Vacuum Cleaner Museum in Derbyshire. And he says higher wattage is not necessarily a guarantee of higher suckage. Back to you. Well, that, that was a fascinating demonstration. I think you should do that every evening at our offices in Westminster, Adam. Well, there's, there's plenty of mess around here. Mm, you enjoy clearing up. Thank you. Well, listening to that was UKIP MEP Louise Bors. Welcome to the programme. So what, what's all the fuss about then? We've just seen the lower wattage uh, vacuum cleaner. It swept up the mess that I apparently left, the crisps and the sugar, just as effectively. And didn't he do a good job? But unfortunately, um, as Dyson has uh, has been uh, saying this week, it's, it's a flawed experiment because what they're using are new hoovers. And anybody who has a hoover knows that over time, um, suction... Uh, disappears. It gets less and less. But it's actually and this, the wattage. Well, well, yeah, because suction is something to do with wattage, so according to James Dyson. Now, I would say he is an expert. He's an innovator. He's one of our prime business uh, businessmen. So I think, yes, absolutely, I'm going to listen to him. He's launched already the judicial review because he's so worried about this because of that kind of test where it's a flawed experiment, if you will. Why should we be told what to do and which vacuum cleaner to buy? Well, look, there's a payoff here, and the payoff is between um, having a full and completely open choice as to what vacuum cleaner yeah. you want to buy and which the damage what? that you're doing to the global atmosphere. Which How much damage am I doing with my vacuum cleaner, my high wattage vacuum cleaner? It, it all contributes. I mean, any unnecessary use of fossil fuels adds unnecessarily to the burden of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, which then affects oh, people all over on. the world. Oh, come on, come on, we all... Are you yeah, climate uh, oh, uh, co uh, come on, come on. We talk, uh, apparently, this will save eight pounds a year, roughly, um, on, on a, an energy bill for, mm -hmm. for a consumer. Mm -hmm. um, but the length of time that they're going to need to hoover for longer, that is going to negate that. Well, and we, we, we already know there, George... Year, if it's we saving already, eight pounds a year, it's George, saving eight pounds a year. We already know that the it commissioner... Doesn't negate George, it. you yourself have said in The Guardian, I was reading it, that environmentalism should be based on science well the science That's is flawed exactly right. the science for this is flawed we've Sorry, had the, the commissioner for, for, for this vacuum ban which is which is nonsense well dyson would say that though wouldn't they um to some See extent though. because they are obviously trying to Absolutely. promote their high wattage appliances but isn't it true that that's what the eu is for these are the organizations that will decide what's going to be energy efficient what's going to be better for us in terms of our behavior and that's what they're doing here yeah telling us how to live our lives once again i mean come oh, on we have to look Look, we have to look at SIBO. Well, hang on, don't talk for everyone. I'll come to you, George. We, we have to look at SIBO. We have to think what is best for the consumer. Now, SIBO have already said, Allergy UK 
completely independent organisation. Mm -hmm. They have said allergy sufferers will actually, it's a, a detriment to them because they will no longer be able to buy the SIBO vacuum cleaner that they recommend. We have to put people first. It is quite a good point on, on allergies because of carpets, as we know, and central heating and all the rest of it, those dust mites and allergies now are far more widespread. We need those mm. hoovers. I, I, I happen to be one myself, actually. I have what I the doctors call acute allergic rhinitis, which is caused by house mm. dust. Sounds but awful. our it's Yes, awful. I, it is, it is, but... Our it's vacuum not cleaner, is it, George? Our vacuum far too cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't sneezed away, have you? No, it's not, a, nor is the membership of UKIP, luckily. Our, 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 our vacuum cleaner, um, which is way, way below the threshold, does it perfectly adequately. And you, know, you do not need these monstrous machines like sort of military hardware in your house in order to do a good job of cleaning up. And, and, you know, and we do not need this constant, profligate, pointless use of unnecessary energy in order to power our economy. And you said yourself, Louise, that it's all about the consumer. Yeah. Well, as consumers, they're also interested in environmental protection. Lots of consumers have changed their attitudes and their behaviour in terms Absolutely. of recycling, for example. Absolutely. And actually, it hasn't been that Absolutely. terrible, has and it? So why can't they do Absolutely. it over energy guzzling this, I would, vacuum cleaners? I would say that this is just the very thin edge of the wedge. We have already well, seen the Commissioner, could, but we've already seen the Commissioner say that the vacuum, vacuum cleaners on its own are going to do absolutely nothing to hit the climate change target. Well, on their own. But on, exactly, on their own. On their own. Who it, says anything George, on their George, own? you have actually proved my point because what I was going to say next was they already have a list of other items that they're going to do exactly the same for, including hair dryers, toasters, mm -hmm. kettles. And okay. interestingly, so you're Joe, against energy efficiency? I'm against those kind of things no, because you're it's not energy, energy efficient. My sister, well, I'll just say, what's just about, about energy Hang on efficiency. one second. My sister is, is a hairdresser, actually, as many hairdressers. Now, this is going to affect her. Now, she's the first one it's to say... It's wonderful to hear about your if, sister. If Are you, you against hang energy efficiency? Hang on, Louise. Hang on, let George, because it's false energy efficiency. Let George answer that question, Because if you've got to do though. something that takes double the time, you're not saving right, energy. Let George, let George, you are not Louise, saving let energy. George answer you that. You yourself have conceded that you save eight pounds a year by using the lower water uh, vacuum it, cleaners. And that means, in other words, that you're saving eight pounds worth of energy. But we're this not. is energy efficiency. But we're not. It'll be completely oh, so you're negated. Back, you're with going that back on what you said at the beginning. eight pound saving will be completely negated by the fact that we saving. have to that no, we it, have to hoover for long. It already takes into account. We have, George, no, it, it doesn't, George. Account. It doesn't. Very, very quickly. Science will hair board. dryers <laughs> and lawnmowers be next? Well, they should be. I mean, we should be applying energy efficiency. We should be applying energy efficiency to all. And on that basis, we're going to have to leave it there. That's all for today.